Good job inserting your Google Analytics tracking code into your control panel. Now all your site's traffic is available for you to analyze, evaluate, and lose countless hours of sleep over. That was a joke. Sleep easy knowing you have this great power at your fingertips. However, traffic won't magically come to your site just because you incorporate Google Analytics. No, 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 no. You need to crunch the numbers and make some marketing decisions along the way. But setting up Google Analytics is a great start. Let's go to Google Analytics at google.com forward slash analytics. Once there, click on Access Analytics in the upper right. This brings you to our Analytics homepage. You now see the first account you created in our previous lesson. If you have multiple websites, you can create multiple accounts for each website, giving you multiple folders. Let's click on All Website Data to see our site's data. If you recently inserted your tracking code into your control panel, you may not have any data yet. Watch on my dashboard to see what you can expect. We first arrive at Audience Overview. The main metric here is this overview graph, currently displaying sessions to our site. Sessions are 30 minute periods a customer spends on your site. Change this value by choosing an item from this drop down menu here. We can also compare metrics by choosing an item from this second drop down menu here. You can change the graph layout to hourly, weekly, or monthly. Note that the current time frame does not change. To do that, we have to adjust our date and time range in the upper right. What's great about analytics is we could set up several different dashboards based on parameters that we'd like to track. So if we'd like to create a dashboard to see only today's statistics, click Dashboard on the top left and click New Dashboard. Let's name this dashboard to stay organized. If I wanted to show today's statistics, I might name it Daily Report and click Create Dashboard. Now let's add widgets so we have some data to look at. Just think of a widget as a statistic or a value. Every time you add a widget, you record and view a different type of statistic for your website. Here, we'll choose what we want to display on our new dashboard. The first display option is Metrics, which means this widget will just show a number count. The widget choice is your preference, but some statistics display better in certain views. For example, I'm going to build a Sessions widget to record 30-minute sessions on my site. I know that Sessions is number-based, so I just need my dashboard to show me a number of sessions today. I do not necessarily need a graph to depict this. However, if I want to chart my sessions over a two-week period or a month's time, a graph might be an easy way to visualize this. This will definitely take some experimenting on your part, but no choice is wrong. It's just a display option, and you can always adjust it later. But each different widget will give you a different option below. When I select metric, I must then select what data I want to see in my metric widget. I want to track sessions, so I'll scroll down and select it from the list. If you need more info on what these items mean, you can hover the question marks to the right. Click Save and it adds this widget to your new dashboard.